hello welcome to my channel today this is the king's tutor if this is the first time of seeing my face thank you for clicking to this please ensure you like you comment and subscribe to this channel and if you're a returning subscriber thank you very much now today we want to continue our series on cash book now we have seen various videos on cash book we have seen uh the single column cash book we have seen the double column cash book and also we have also seen the um, introduction part of a three column cash book if you have not seen that video i will drop the introduction part here and also in my description to see other parts okay we have also um defined the three column cash book that it is the aspect of cash book in which have columns for the cash the bank and the discount okay so the discount comprised of the discount allowed and the discount word receive okay now today we want to see a question regarding that and the question said we should write up a three column cash book for mr kofi it's comprised of January 1, the balance brought forward, cash in hand, 500, cash at bank, 13,000. January 2, receive a cash loan of 500 Naira from Ojo. 3, bought goods for cash, 460 Naira. January 4, bought motor van, paying check, 150 Naira. January 5, cash withdrawn from the bank, 300 Naira. January 7, paid wages in cash, 70 Naira. January 8, cash drawings, 100 Naira. January 10, cash sales paid directly into the bank, 980. January 12, we paid the following accounts by check, less 10% discount in each case. BC, 200 Naira. IO, 250. SR, 340 Naira. January 13, the following paid us their accounts by check in each case, deducting 2.5% discount. BRD 200, there is a 360. Now, January 15, received a further loan of 15 Naira from Ojo by check. January 16, we paid Zidane his account of 19 Naira by check. 18, cash sales 200 Naira. 21, paid rent in cash 18 Naira. January 23, received commission by check 120 Naira. January 25, the following paid us their account by check. In each case, deducting 5% discount. Osa, 500 Naira. Sofola, 120 Naira. Jaja, 440 Naira. January 26, we paid the following account by check. In each case, deducting 2% discount. Taiwo, 600. Tunde, 500. Victor, 300. January 28, paid insurance by cash, 16 Naira. January 29, Shagun paid us a check for 78 Naira, having deducted 2 Naira cash discount. Now, we are going to see this. Please, if you have not watched the introduction video on this, and also the single column and the double column card, I would advise you watch that, because here we also have cash and bank, so you know what we are treating. Okay, I said it, I will drop it in the description, watch that. Now, I want to prepare this, the three column cash book. Now, I said the cash book that comprises of the cash, the bank, and the word, the discount. So, we are going to prepare it here now. So, this is the cash, the cash book. So, we we'll have, so if we divide this, okay. So now we're going to have our dates. Now, this our discount is the bank, is the cash, and this is folio. This is a date to show this is the middle. Let's do this too. A date. This is discount. This is bank. This is cash. Okay. And.
folio. So, if I have this as my date, particulars, the folio the cash, the bank, and the discount allowed. Now, the part at the left-hand side is the discount allowed. Okay? We said that in the introduction video. So, we also have the date, the particulars, the folio, this the cash, the bank and this is the discount receive because that's the part we are paying okay the discount allowed is um the discount deduction that is made for those that bought on from us that we are expected to re receive money from so that's why it's at the debit side why um the discount receive is um, the deduction that is made on our purchase okay so we are going to record this now now we said January 1st balance brought forward cash in hand so we have January 1st the balance brought forward okay so it's an asset so our balance brought forward the cash in hand is 500 so we have 500 here and the cash and bank is 13,000. So we have 13,000. Okay. So the next one, receive a cash loan of 500 from Mojo. So we'll come here, January 2, we receive a cash loan from Mojo. Loan from Mojo. How much is it? 500. They say cash. So it will be under the cash column. 500. The next one, bought goods for cash, 460. Bought. When we bought, it means purchases. Okay? Goods bought for resale. Purchases. So as we are buying, we are paying money. The essence of the cash book tends to look at where is the money coming? Is it going out or coming in? Okay, so they say bought goods for cash for 60. So if we buy goods, it means we have to pay. So the money is going out. So we have here what's the date? January 3rd. Purchases. How much is it? 460. Okay, the next one, bought motor van, paying check, 150. They say bought motor van, paying check. Now, if you notice, watch. They say bought goods and bought motor van. Now, in this situation now, the particulars will carry the name of the asset. Now, whenever it is purchases, it should be goods. It should be um, that particular goods in their line of trade. But once they say bought an asset, you can't write purchase if it is not in the line of trade. Okay? That asset is the what name that will be in the particular, not purchases. Purchases mean goods bought for resale. They say bought goods, it means in their normal trade, they bought what they will what resell. That is why it is called purchases. But now they say bought motor van, it is an asset that they will use in the business. So it is not purchases that will be in the particular, but the name of the asset. Okay? Take note. So it said bought motor van, paying check 150. So we'll come here, since they bought, it means our money is going out on the fourth. We have motor van. They said paid by check. So it will be under the bank column. 150. Okay? 150. The next one, they said cash withdrawn from the bank. 300. Cash withdrawn from the bank. 300. This is a contract entry. We talked about contract entry. Okay, so that's why I said to watch the previous video. So they say cash withdrawn from the bank 300. So this is January 5th. 
So it means the bank gave out, okay? The bank, they said they will draw it from the bank. So the bank gave out, so we we'll have in the particulars cash, but under the bank column, we have 300. Remember to put your C to indicate contra entry. So the corresponding entry will still come to this. So still that fifth, our particulars will not be bank, but in the cash column of 300, our folio is C. Okay, the next one, paid wages in cash, 17 era. We paid wages in cash, 17 era. So we come here, seven, wages in cash, 17 era. The next one, cash drawings, 100 naira. So we come here, on the eight drawings, We drew money, 100 naira under the bank column, under the cash column. The next one, cash sales paid directly into the bank, 980. Cash sales paid directly into the bank. Now, they said they made sales, but it was paid directly into the bank, 980. Okay, so it means that definitely in this now, so it means that in this now, that um, the sales is directly paid to the bank. So come here, we are receiving the money, but it was paid to the bank. So since we are receiving it, we have to debit its account. So on the January 10th, we have sales that was paid to the bank, 980. Okay, the next one, on January 12th, they said, we paid the following accounts by check, less 10% discount in each case. So they said, we made this payment, BC 200, IO 250, SN 340. We made the payment, but with less 10% discount. So those we bought from gave us discount. That is why we call it discount receive. So, we said we paid, we are paying, so it should be credited. We pay the following by check, less 10% discount in each case. So it means that in each case, we are going to less 10% discount on this before we, was, we pay the money, okay? And the said is by check, so we paid through the bank, so it means it will be under the bank column. So it will not be on the 12th, watch, on the 12th, they say we pay the following account by check, 10% discount in each case. So BC, the first person, BC, now we are supposed to pay 200 Naira, but they say they gave us discount, 10%. Now 10% on 200 Naira is 20 Naira. So the discount received here, you put it here, 20 Naira. So instead of paying 200, we will not pay 200 minus 20, we give us 180. So we paid 180 instead of 200. Look at what we did. So it means our discount is what? 20 Naira. Take note. For BC, they say 10% discount in each case. So for the first one we are treating BC, we are supposed to pay what? 200. But they say they gave us 10% discount. So 10% on 200 is 20 Naira. So record it here as our discount received. So in this now, we will now put our, the difference, 200 minus 20, the amount we paid was 180, but we paid it through the bank, so that's why it's under the bank column, okay? The next one, it said 250, 10% on 250 will give us 25 Naira, okay? So it means my discount, still on the 12th, the second one, is IO. IO and my discount here is 25 naira because 10% on 250 is 25 naira. So to get the amount we paid is 250 minus 25 naira and that will give us 250 minus 25 naira will give us 225 naira. Okay, that's that. Then the third one, SR. 340 Naira, 
So 10% on 314 Naira will give us 34 Naira. So in that same date, the third one, S -A. So we're supposed to pay this, but they gave us discount. So it's 34 Naira. So 34 Naira. So we have 340 minus 34 Naira will give us 306. 306. Okay. The next one, January 13th. The following paid us their accounts by check. In each case, deducting two and a half discount, two and a half percent discount, Biodo and Teresa. Now, the same way we paid people and they gave us discount, which is discount received, they said the following paid us. They paid us. So we are receiving the money. So as we are receiving the money, it should be debited. But once it has been debited, we have to take cognizance of this um, discount we gave to them because they will also deduct it before paying us. So we have to take it into cognizance. So they say the foreign paid us their account by check, still by check. So on the January 13, 13, Biodun, so the first one is Biodun, you're supposed to pay us 200 naira, but we gave them um, two and a half percent discount. So two and a half percent discount on 200 will give us. So if you convert this, it's a mixed fraction. So if you convert it to an improper, two times two is four, four plus one is five. So that is five over two percent. So it is five divided by two, divided by 100. So 0 0.025 times 200. So it's five Naira. So the discount is five Naira. Okay? So the discount is five Naira. So to get our amount they, we receive, it is 200 Naira minus five Naira. And that will give us 195 Naira. Remember, it is through bank also. We should follow the information at all times. So it is five naira and 195. The same thing for Theresa, let's calculate the discount. Discount, remember, we converted two times two, four, four plus one, five. So that is five divided by two. Five divided by two, that's 2.5, divided by 100 because of percentage, 0 0.025 times 360. That is nine. So the second one in the same date is Teresa. So the discount is nine. So instead of receiving 360, where is the dot nine from it? It will now be 351. That is what we receive. We we'll give you a discount. Okay? So that is, this is why it is called three column cash bank discount. The next one, January 15, receive a further loan of 15 Naira from Mojo by check. We also receive a loan again on January 15, a loan from Mojo by check. How much? 15 Naira. 50 Naira. Now remember the first one they received from Mojo on the second, it was cash. So the second one now, the balance is by check, 15 Naira. The next one, we paid Zidane his account of 19 Naira by check. We paid Zidane 19 Naira by check. So we'll come here on January 16. We paid Zidane by, this is check. How much is it? 90 Naira. The next one, January 18, cash sales, 200 Naira. We made sales, money is coming in, but it's on cash. So it will be under the cash column. So that is on the 18th. Cash sales, 200 Naira. Okay. The next one, January 21, pay the rent in cash. 18 Naira. Paid rent in cash, 18 Naira. So we are going to write, we paid rent on the January 21. 
rent in cash, how much 18 naira. So under the cash column, we have 18. Okay? The next one, receive commission by check 120. Received commission by check 120. Now we receive commission, okay, by check. So January 23, we have here commission by check 120. So under the bank column. The next one, January 25, the following paid us their accounts by check. In each case, deducting 5% discount. We also received, they said they paid us by check, deducting 5% discount, Usong 500, so Fola 120, and Jaja 440. So the same way, on January 25, we said we received from these people, okay? So the first person is Usong. We are supposed to receive 500, but they say we gave them 5% discount. So we are going to deduct it. Now 5%, that is 5 over 100, times 500. So the discount is 25 Naira. So we are supposed to receive 500. So 500 minus 25 Naira will give us 475. Remember, it is through the bank because they said by check. Okay, so that is for also. The next one, so for La, so for La 120. But we give five percent discount, so our five percent times one twenty. So my discount here is six. So one twenty minus six will give us one one four under the bank. So this is actually what we receive. While the last one, Jaja, we are supposed to receive four forty, but we give discount. Now let's calculate the discount. Five percent times four forty. So this is the third one is Jaja. So the discount is 22 Naira. So 440 minus 22 Naira will give us 418. Okay. The next one, they said January 26, we paid the following accounts by check. In each case, the dotting 2% discount. Now we paid now, okay, the following by check and deducting 2% discount on Taiwo, Tunde, and Victor. So we have on January 26, we paid, the first person here is Taiwo. Taiwo, we are supposed to receive 600, but we gave them, we received discount because they paid, we received discount 2%. So 2 divided by 100 times 600 is 12. So our discount received here is 12. So we are supposed to receive 600. So we are supposed to pay 600. So 600 minus 12 will give us 588. Remember they said it is through the bank. So this is 588. They said by check, which is bank. The second one is Tunde. Tunde. Tunde, we are supposed to receive 500. We are supposed to pay 500, but we receive 2% discount. So 2 divided by 100 times 500, which is for Tunde, is 10. So that is 10. So 500 minus 10 will give us 490. Why the third one is Victor. We are also supposed to receive, we are also supposed to pay 300, but we receive 2% discount. So 2% 2 times 300 will give us 6. So 300 minus 6 will give us 294 naira. Okay. Why January 28, they say paid insurance by cash, 16 naira. They paid insurance by cash. So on the 28, insurance by cash. So under the cash column, 16 naira. 
Why on the 29th, Shegun paid us a check for 78 Naira, having the doctor two, two Naira cash discount. Now, in this situation now, it is quite different from this one we have done, that we will not deduct the money. Yeah, they say they have already deducted the money, but you, you are just informing us. So they say Shegun paid us a check for 78 Naira. Having deducted two Naira cash discount, that means he has already deducted the cash discount. So we'll just right here on the 29, we receive from Shegun a check of 78 Naira. So having deducted two Naira, so we'll just put it two there. Okay, so that will show us. So in this now, let's balance the account okay so balancing the accounts now we are going to put debit for cash bank and credit for cash and bank let's know the total so we are going to start from debit for cash so debit for cash, we have 500 plus 500 plus 300 plus 200. That's 1,500. Debit for bank, we have 13,000 plus 980 plus 195 plus 351 plus 50 plus 120 plus 475 plus 114 plus 418 plus 78 is equal to 15,781. 15,781. The next one, the cash, 460 plus 70 plus 100 plus 18 plus 60 we have 708 708 as cash for bank we have 150 plus 300 plus 180 plus 225 plus 306 plus 90 plus 588 plus 490 plus 294 we have 2623 2623 okay now let's get the and let's get the balance carried down let's get the total so in this now our uh, debit for cash for cash and bank is greater than the credit for cash and bank so we are going to have a balance carried down here so the total for our cash we said is one five and our bank the total is fifteen thousand seven eight one so on 31st we are supposed to have a balance carry down so that balance now will be our cash for credit is 708 so 15 minus 708 minus 708 will give us 792 so when we add together we we'll have 15 okay the same thing here 15781 minus 2000 623 so it will be 13 158 so when we add together it becomes 15781 okay now let's add the discount to get the discount the total discount allowed now if we are preparing a trading profit or loss account this total discount allowed now will be posted to the what the profit or loss account so we have 5 plus 9 plus 25 plus 6 plus 22 plus 2. 
that's 69 okay we don't have balance carry down for discount take notes we don't have balance carry down for discount we just add up the total okay so for discount receive also 20 plus 25 plus 34 plus 12 plus 10 plus 6 it's 107 107 so we'll come here now this is January so it will now be February 1 our balance brought down this balance for cash you put it under cash 792 this is now cash in hand this one 13 158 this one cash at bank so with that now you've automatically done the cash book okay so that's how to solve this please ensure you like share this video please comment if you don't have any question as regarding any part okay we're going to see other um, tougher questions on the three column cash book okay in our next video also we're going to see the petty cash book so please ensure you like and um, comment share and subscribe this video thank you very much